here is a little bit of content for you for the holidays. Uh, so today I want to talk about recursion. What is recursion? Recursion is a function that calls itself. Now, why do you want to do that? So the main reason is that it's another tool in your tool belt. Recruiters really love to see you use uh, a bunch of tools and recursion is always one that impresses interviewers. So it's a good skill to learn. So at, for my example, I'm going to start with a function here. So this is function. It's going to, uh, it's just going to count some numbers. So I'm going to pass it in two parameters into, into here. I'm going to pass in the initial number. I'm going to pass in the number I want to count up to. And now let's put in the body of our function. And I'm going to put in a for loop here. For. All right. Uh, now n has already been declared up in the parameters, but I'm going to pop it in here again. Uh, it doesn't hurt. So n is less than or equal to up to. And then finally, the traditional n plus plus. OK, so what's going to happen inside this for loop? We are going to, all we're going to do is we are going to console.log n. OK. OK, so here is my function. So let's run it and make sure, I'm not sure what that red is, but hey, what's the worst that can happen? Siri could open. All right, here we go. And I'm going to call counter, and I'm going to call it from 1 to 10. And so this should, there, exactly what I expected. I get the numbers from 1 to 10. So hopefully this isn't surprising to any of you. Uh, I'm going to try an, another way as well. Um, just because, again, it's always good to have multiple things in your tool belt. So I'm going to create another function here. I'm going to call this counter2 because, hey, why not? I'm also going to pass in the two parameters. I'm going to pass in n, and I'm going to pass in up to. And then in the body of my function, I'm going to use a while loop. And the signature of a while loop is there is a parameter up here or a uh, calculation. So this is going to say while n is less than or equal to up to, I want you to run this code and the code will be uh, console.log and I'm going to put something not tricky here, but uh, interesting. So it's going to return n and then increment it for the next cycle of the loop. So now this should also work the exact same way as the previous one. So let's just make sure I'm not lying to you. Uh, counter 2. Um, I'm going to give it 1, 2, 5 because I want to make sure that it is. And there we go. Absolutely. So now let's look at how we would solve this particular problem using recursion. So I'm going to create another function here. I'm going to call it recursive, recursive counter. Okay, recursive counter is also going to take the exact same parameters. It's going to take n and up to. And we're going to put in our body. Now, what do we put in our body? What are the things that we need to put in a recursive 
function. So the first thing you have to remember is that you need to have two cases. So there's always going to be some sort of switch in here. There's going to be a base case and there is going to be a recursive case. So let's get that set up. All right, so um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the base case. So if n triple equals up to, um, I just want this to return because I don't want anything to happen. So that is my base case. And now here is my recursive case. All right, now be prepared for your mind to be blown. I am going to do plus plus n, and I'm going to also pass in up to. So why am I passing that in? So let's have a look. Um, and I guess I also need to, because I had the other two run a uh, console.log, I have to put a console.log here. So I'm going to put the console.log right here. I'm going to put the console.log, um, we're just going to log n. Okay, so we are going to console.log n. We are then going to check is n equal to the up to value. If it is, return. We don't want anything to happen. If, however, it is less than or equal to, or some other state, we want to return the recursive counter with n, but n with one more. So this is n plus one and the same up to, all right? So let's give this a try. Recursive counter, 0, 10. Here, 0, 11. Why not? OK, and when I run that, there we go. 0 to 11. So this is using recursion. So what's happening is that it is checking and rerunning the recursive counter until the case of n equal to up to is satisfied. So when n is equal to 10, or sorry, 11, it is then equal to up to, and it returns without, it still console.logs it, but it returns. We no longer run the recursive counter. It is very important to have the base case in every recursive function. Otherwise, you're going to have an infinite loop, and nobody wants that. All right. Thank you for your time, and I will see you all after Christmas. <laughs>